Hello and welcome to a new video discussing dynamic array functions, video number 9. No need to remind you that dynamic array functions are working only with Office 365. If you are using any other version of Excel, you won't be able to practice the exercise in this video. In this video, we'll compare between sort and sort by functions, and we'll see when we should use sort and when we have to use sort by, and also we will see how we can use both sort and sort by functions to sort tables based on more than one column. In the example today, I have a small table containing names, hiring date, and salary for the staff or the employees. And I want to do some sorting for this table. And this sorting need to be based on two columns. First column should be the salary, and the sorting will be descending. And the second column will be the name, and the sorting will be ascending. I'm going to use both sort and sort by. In the first example, I want to show the salary. So I'm going to sort the entire table, the three columns together. However, while using the sort by, I'm going to hide the salary, meaning that I'm going to sort only two columns but still using the salary as sorting criteria let's start together i'm going to select the top corner of the new table and then i'm going to write equals and then my function sort s o r the first selection is sort tab and then let's follow the screen tab first requirement is the array array will be the entire table in this case i'm going to select the first cell below the header and then press and hold shift and control one arrow to the right and then one arrow to the bottom to select the entire table comma to move to the second argument which is the sort index remember that i need to sort based on two columns so i need to put two values inside the sort index so i'm going to use the curly bracket the first column i'm going to use the salary which is one two three the third column so i'm going to write three and then comma to put the second index or the second sort index which is the name which is the first column so i'm going to type one and then close the curly bracket i'm going to use also two values so i'm going to use again the curly bracket and then the first one need to be descending which is represented by minus one the name should be ascending alphabetically ascending so i'm going to use one and then close the curly bracket and then close the bracket for sort and enter and here you go you have the high salary on the top and if you look at the name you will see the three people having the twelve thousand as a salary also sorted ascending Ahmed, Ihab and then Nasr and then I have two with 11,000 Maryam and Riham also correctly sorted now let's assume that the salary information is confidential and I want to share the information without showing the salary column so I'm going to use sort by let's also select the top corner of the table and then equals this time SOR and I'm going to select the second option which is sort by and then tab let's select the array this time array will be the name and hiring date only press and hold shift and control one arrow down now the entire array selected comma to move to the second argument by array so the first selection will be the salary so I want to sort by the salary array so I'm going to select the first cell below the header press and hold shift and control one arrow down now I selected the salary array and then comma now I need to put the sort order for the first array which will be descending I'm going to use minus one and then comma second array will be the name I'm going to select the first cell below the header press and hold shift and control one arrow down and then comma this time should be ascending one and then close the bracket and enter and here you go exactly the same result but without showing the salary column and here is the benefit of the sort by function you can use an array which is independent from the original table inside your sort criteria and here when you have to use the sort by function that was all for today and finally please subscribe to the channel like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in next video and bye